Hi guys, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'm AY and I'm a first year medical student of Lado Castola, University of Technology. So if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, please do well to, if you are coming for the first time, do well to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and please like this video and drop a comment. So please don't just watch, do well to subscribe. So today's video, um, we are going to be meeting a guy that had 343 in jump and 8 A's in Y with 3 B, I mean with 1 B3. So we are going to be having some little interview and all. So I believe you are going to learn and gain some things from him. So keep on watching. Alright. So can we meet you, sir? Hello to you all. My name is Joshua Gundaro and I'm a first year student at Federal University of Agriculture, Abukuta. And I'm going to study in the Katsunis Engineering. Alright, that's great. So it's nice to have you around. Nice to have you too. So can you tell us, are you the one that we heard about that uh, had the 343 in jam and 8A1 in Y or maybe it's a mistake? <laughs> well, okay. uh, I was the one by the grace of God. Alright, alright. Thank you very much. So can you tell us how you feel when you checked your results? I, the results. I was very excited and surprised. Especially for the jam, I was surprised to you know get that kind of score, and my and my wife also, my wife said it was it was kind of surprise also. Although I'm expecting something like that. Okay, okay, that's one of the questions. That are you actually expecting something like that, or it's just love? <laughs> yeah, I've actually planned to have nine A ones. Okay, my wow, wife. wow, wow. <laughs> Although. I ended up having it is and you know that English. Okay. Had, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Yeah. General. All right. So, what's the name of your secondary school? Um, I attended Shangos College, Shangos Kusan College, Shaki. Okay. I think that's a private school. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, let's move to the main thing. So, the first question here is: How were you able to prepare for your work to have that amazing result? All right. Um, concerning my preparation, I would say that the preparation I started since my SS1, even before then, my school played a major role in preparing me. You know, several people we came together, even teachers, my friends. I would not. I would say that many people actually contributed to my success, not just my own effort alone. So uh, my school was a great factor, and also you know personal study during the exam, even before the exam, and that was how I was able to achieve the score. Alright, thank you very much. So like how many months did you spend to prepare for your UTM score 343? Um, I spent like two months to prepare, like to practice the past questions, the jam, exactly. to start for the jam, okay. and to start past questions, to be ready for jam, I would say two months. Oh, wow. Okay, so how many hours did you normally use to read? Uh, normally on an okay. average, I read three hours. I read three hours because we, we usually have prep from 6 to 7 a.m. in school and also 7 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I would say three hours technically, although sometimes it will be more than that. And during exam times in the school, obviously it will be more than that. Okay. So how can you advise a student that also wants to have a very good grade in WAEC, like the forthcoming WAEC exam? So what are the advice that you can give for the person? Well, I would say that the person should pay attention to everything they've been learning from SS1 down to you know, SS3. So the person should pay attention to every uh, topic, especially the topics that are in the syllabus. And um, you should prepare very well by pressing the past questions, you know, asking questions, being curious, and you should set a very high goal, like you should have a vision for the exam. All right, thank you very, very much. What general advice can you give to someone that is also hoping to score a very good score in UTM, which is the chamber exam, up to like 300 plus like that? All right, you know, we just, we just have a few months to go to yes. the exam, yes, exactly. probably less than two months. Yes. So, uh, I would say that at this point, time management is very important okay. because 
you have to be able to maximize your time to achieve your goal and also having vision is very important because i remember that uh, prior to our own year when our seniors did their UTME, we had a guy that scored 333 in our school and when i heard that my goal was that i want to score higher than that so i had set that vision for myself and you know i had to work towards it and um, you have to have a plan towards your goal because without a plan it's only a wish Wow. You have to have a plan that plan, it's, only a wish. it's only a wish. So you have to have a plan that you have to follow. Probably you can tell yourself, I'm going to be doing TDB, till daybreak, or probably just find a plan that works best for best for you. And also the time management is very important because you need to be able to make sure that you read as many hours as possible during this period. So know the things that are important and the things that are not really important, and try to prioritize you know your goals. Were you able to finish most of your textbooks when you are in secondary school? And for in the in quest of preparing for your work and jump? Yes, I was able to finish many of the textbooks. Like, and can you mention some of the for, for physics, I read several textbooks for physics because I was just an avid reader of physics and I just love to read physics, being curious about things. Okay. So I read uh, OKK, okay, I read um, science physics. I read, I read new school pieces. Of course, that was a textbook we were using in the school and language pieces also. Okay. And some that I can't remember the name now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, can you please explain to uh, the those that are watching us how you do study? How do you make your study plans? Because there are some people that may want to study and they will find it difficult. So how were you able to study and you still utilize them? to have a very good score in the exam. Alright, so uh, my study plan, majorly I just um, schedule time for my study and once I do that, probably I can try to, I can decide that I want to read like 5 hours or 6 hours to dinner, but I may not do it at a stage. It will be maybe 2 hours, 2 hours, 2 hours and then after that I will try to practice past questions as well so that I will be able to test myself on what I have done, what I have read, whether I have been able to assimilate it or not. So that is how I do plan myself. I don't usually go on, you know, long stretch hours, but I just take some breaks in between my reading hours. Okay, okay. So aside that, aside taking breaks and you don't read on stretch, what other things do you think helps you that other people do not have the opportunity? All right. Um, I would say that revisiting my notes again and again okay. because okay. when I was in um, SSTD, I made sure that I went through all the notes we have done right from SS1 to the, the current class. Okay. So I was able to read my notes, I would say, at least three times okay. for my, all my course subjects. So I was able to go over them. I think you guys times. can hear that because most of us, we ended up reading a topic once and we forget about it and we say the topic is sad, we are not getting it. So there is a way that you have to read, read, read again. Of read three times for you to say, okay, 100% at least to a very high extent. Even if I will forget something, I will only forget a little. But if you only read it once, there is a very high tendency that you are going to forget. And, so, and then let me just add to that. You know, the first time you read a particular topic, you will not get everything 100%. It's normal. So it's when you go over it the second time, the third time, that you're able to pick some points that you didn't see at the first time. Okay, uh, let's go back to that WAEC aspect because I believe I have WAEC audience here. So, um, what other things do you think contribute to your, you having A's in all those physics, chemistry, biology, like with how hard they are a little bit? Um, you know, Aside during, the, during the WAEC also, you know, we have practical for other subjects, okay. child physics, chemistry, and biology. Okay. So I would say that students should also pay attention to their practical very well okay. because it contributes to the overall uh, grade. So they should pay attention to the practical very well and be familiar with past questions okay. such that you already know the pattern of questions they will ask. Okay. Like from maybe in physics now, 1 to 10 can be on motion, then as you go on, questions can be on waves. Then towards the ending part, it can be on book theory or physics. So be familiar with the pattern of how the person is set here. 
you know, by purchasing past questions. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you, lastly, can you tell us other things you do aside from studying? All you do is just studying. <laughs> you read, read, read. Uh, actually, um, I see play football. I play chess. I play some indoor games and outdoor games. Okay. And I just watch videos once in a while to relax. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you around. Nice. So, any question for him, you can drop it in the comments comment section. So that's all for the video. I believe you enjoyed the video. So if you are still watching till now and you are yet to subscribe, what are you doing? So do well to subscribe and like the video, please. It's very, very important. Like the video, drop a comment and share. So thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.